guys welcome back to another video so in today's video we are gonna be focusing on a number of things first off we are gonna be uh, drilling through my brackets for my floating shelves and since my hand drill didn't really work out it was twisting my arm and i ended up moving on to my drill press which actually worked a whole lot better even though i ended up removing the plate that goes um, on the top part that holds where you can even use anchors and stuff but yeah i ended up removing that because i mean my uh, bracket itself it was quite big and it didn't have enough plate the plate that I'm drilling now it didn't have enough plate to spread across so I ended up uh, removing that and used this um, low metal um, uh, anchor to hold it down but using my hands you guys I was so terrified when I was doing this but it ended up working anyways so yeah um in any case this here it was a little bit of a hassle you know because i was struggling between holding the uh, camera down and the drill pressing plus also holding down the um the, the bracket so yeah it was quite difficult but i managed in any case so yeah enjoy this video uh please consider to like uh comment and subscribe So moving on to this next project you guys, I found this uh, pillar on my yard and I want to use it also to make as a pot stand but I used um, sand, just plaster sand and mixed it up with my um, uh, paint. I actually used the same technique even though I didn't use the same type of sand um, as my ports the ports that were black that I painted black on my previous video um, so I used a uh, plaster sand this time to add on to the paint which actually gave me uh, the same effect as the bicarbonate of soda. The texture was just, just the same and I'm very, very impressed with that. This here was quite roughened up. So the end result, I was just amazed with it and I do love it. So if you uh, have run out of bicarbonate of soda, I suggest that you start or rather consider using um plaster sand you guys it works it really does work the texture is exactly the same so yeah enjoy you guys and let's just keep this diys rolling As you guys are aware that I am also doing my laundry room, I decided I wanted to make the stamp for my laundry, which I'm going to be using when I'm doing my painting process. So this is how I managed to achieve this particular um, stamp.
yeah me and told you guys yeah anyways i moved this washing line to this spot uh, from where the previous slide with the photos with the uh, sledgehammer there i moved it from there i dug it out actually um so early in the morning and i was so so tired my shoulders were short after using that sledgehammer yeah i've always wanted to use one of those things but after using it on that day i was like yeah i think the next time i'll probably be using it is most probably when taking down some walls inside the house the walls that i already do not want yeah you know just to open up the house but anyways moving on here i decided i wanted to move this because it was showing the first thing you saw when you were uh, driving into the gate was this washing line and i didn't like the placement of it so i decided i wanted to move it closer to the wall and behind the garage So after my uh, washing line was set on the ground, I decided I wanted to paint the washing line black instead of the grayish blue that it was. And because also I already have like accents of black, which I actually want to incorporate into most things that I have around the, the, um, the yard and then i also decided since it wasn't as hot on this particular day that i wanted to cut my grass because i hadn't cut it in like most probably a month to a month and a half and it was quite grown at this point so um and since also because winter time you know with the grass it grows very very slow so i wanted to go ahead and tackle that and just get it out of the way and most probably i will be cutting again in a month month and a half you know with a lot of frost going on the grass doesn't grow as much as around summer and spring months so yeah i did that and it turned out to be quite uh, an exercise for me on this day but i am glad that i did it because come the wind the extreme winter um, conditions that we end up having with the you know sharpness of the winds and the cold uh, I, I can't I that by then guys I just leave everything as is you know it, it just becomes the the real African bush <laughs> but yeah I decided I wanted to do this on this particular day get it out of the way so that I can enjoy my uh, winter indoors or even if i do a little bit outdoors you know it's not as extreme and i'm not in the cold most of the time because yeah you guys if you are a south african person or you live in south africa you know how the the cold can get in winter so i decided that this was the right time for me to do it if by the time the grass has grown a little bit again i'm just gonna leave it if it's on on a, a day that it's undoable on the, or rather days when you know you can't even step outside so anyways this here is the back of the house on the garage side um those pots they i found them here when we moved into the house but yeah i kept them and painted them and i did mention uh, on another video that i was gonna repaint them again in uh, spring I am done with the grass cutting you guys I'm glad I did it it looks amazing and luckily for me on the side of the house the kids and the dogs are not allowed because 
you know with the kids they tend to pluck out my um, flowers and so does the dogs so this side is my side of the garden the other side is the kids side of the garden because there they get to play do whatever and so do the dogs so yeah thank you for watching if you haven't done so please consider to subscribe to my channel and do like this video and leave me a comment down below and yeah do follow me on instagram as well to see um my de daily uploads and thank you for watching bye see you on my next video